this is Jeff Mesnick. I'm coming from Secure World, the Cybersecurity Journal, and I'm here with uh, Trevor Hawthorne, CTO at Wombat Security Technologies. Great to be here with you. Thanks. So we're hearing a lot of problems and challenges at the CEO level. Mm -hmm. They're really thinking about what do I do about cybersecurity? Right. What, when you're talking to a CEO, what's the top thing you tell them? Sure. What do they need to be thinking about? So I think that there's really kind of two things, um, both external and internal. What I mean by that is, well, let's chalk it up to kind of compliance-based risk as well as technical and like more uh, threat-based risk. Certainly some of the regulations that are coming through in the EU and state regulations, that's a, that's a, a big concern because you got to figure that the attackers may or may not come, but, but the auditors, well, they come every single year. Right, um, and, right. and so, you know, that one's a little bit more kind of known. Um, and those, those, those can be tricky, especially if you're a SaaS provider, you do any type of like cloud services and you're processing, you know, European citizen data, things become really interesting. Um, and then I think that from an external, like, attacker standpoint, phishing, continues to be the bane of everyone's existence, whether you're a politician or whether you're a technology leader, right. um, is uh, the choices end users make with their technology, not only whether it's corporate enterprise technology or if it's their personal technology. There's a lot of like dual use happening. People are checking their personal email on their on their mobile phones. They're checking their personal email on their work computers. And so all of the technology is great until the users are doing something that you as the defender don't have visibility into. And so making the investment in the user is something I think a lot of organizations used to be pretty uncomfortable with, but they're really starting to, to take a look at. There's a lot of really great technology here at the show. There's a lot of great technology every year, and here we are still talking about phishing and talking about end users. Right, and Wombat. What is Wombat to help out? Sure, so Wombat, we are a... And everybody seems very excited over there yeah, about Wombat. <laughs> There's a lot of excitement here at the show. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so we are an end-user uh, risk management company. I think is a good way yeah. to 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 kind of say it. So we we're we're basically taking the the same approach that the industry is taking to technical risks. You know, high, medium, yeah. low severity, CVSS scores. We're starting to kind of approach end users in much that same way, where we where end users are basically assets that you have to kind of continually manage and continually change the behavior of. And we do that via a couple different ways. We have training modules that you know are really good interactive experiences for the user to go through yep. and then everyone's favorite we also do phishing simulations oh, great. so we send out uh, simulated phishing emails if the user falls for it there's yep. a nice little uh, what we like to call it, a visceral experience for them to go through <laughs> and they say oh I really wish I wouldn't have done that but there's right. some nice training here I'll think about that next time and you know you got to figure that if the user's looking for ours they're looking for the, the real thing um, oh, and we have some state of fish data where we distill all the tens of millions of phishing emails we send out on an annual basis we distill all of that down and it shows us that it actually makes a difference. That's great.